happy errors tour day. Day two, because I got to go to Melbourne. Honestly, it took like four days for it to actually like sink in and hit that I went to the errors tour. It, it just, it didn't feel real. And then it, it all just hit me at once one night when I was like laying in my bed at 2am and I was like sobbing. <laughs> oh, I just can't believe it. But today I'm flying to Sydney, which I'm very nervous for because not only have I only been on one flight ever in my life and that was when I was very young, so I don't even really remember it. I now have diabetes, so I have to go through like the whole airport check-in with like needles and stuff and that's like terrifying to me. And I'll have to leave my little munchkin behind. I don't want to weave him. Sorry for that baby voice, that was embarrassing. But I just need to finish packing and we're leaving in like 10 minutes. I'm in that kind of state where I feel like I'm missing something, but I'm not. Because I've like wrote lists upon lists and checked them off two, three times and I've definitely got everything. I just feel like I'm missing something and it's driving me up the wall. I don't know what it is. At the airport. She's not actually coming with me. I'm gonna be boarding soon, hopefully. My flight is set to leave in half an hour. So, should I be lying up? If I could tell you, I don't think you believe how long I felt this way I'm begging you to stay and if I could show you I'd hope that you could see all the possibilities there could be a place for you and me and under the stars you pack up your car cause you're going far Okay, well, my Uber just dropped me off at the hotel and I'm waiting for Steph and her family to get here. They should be here in like two minutes, she said. I just called her. Um, so I'm just waiting for them to come here because I have no way to get in. I also really badly need to be. What if I just like peed in this bush? Not a good idea. Okay, let's get ready. Ah! You know what I wish? What? This had a mirror. Oh my gosh, I was gonna bring this palette. Thank you so much for bringing You're it. You're welcome, because I needed the pinks. I needed the reds, but I was like, I'm not bringing that because this whole makeup you. bag, this whole you. makeup bag already is one kilo. Why? I had to take it out of my bag because it was too heavy for check-in. Why is it a kilo? No one knows. I don't even have that much stuff. If I say that you've on day, I'm gonna cancel you. Chloe, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Don't follow me, please. <laughs> that's that's his sister. Yeah, I, was gonna say, I don't know if this is going to go in or not. That's my 13 year old sister. So if you ever hear a random voice, what are you doing? hashtag vlogging. Oh, I forgot to bring my power grip primer. No. Oh, <gasps> do you have it? Oh. Come on in clutch. Well, you bought <laughs> how many kilos of makeup? This is all I brought. I, like, it, it feels like a lot more than it actually is. She bought like a whole duffel bag of makeup. I have a couple items of clothing in there. <laughs> just a couple. <laughs> just like two. Just like two. Is this grippy or is it just... Pump uh, right back. Pumping serum. I don't know, but I love it. I need to take my mascara off. That's what I just did. Because <laughs> I, I just remembered that I had mascara on. I wish I could stall, but I never call. And you're going on. Tell me 
you why we're literally three rows um, from the front? We're literally row three on the diet. So if this is the diamond, this is the point, and then Where's it's one, two, three, and then it's right us. How? How? What is our life? How? She's she's gonna be. She's gonna be my dad. That's a good one.
back from Sydney. I got back from Sydney yesterday. Didn't vlog much of the car ride home because it was literally a eight hour car ride home. And if I'm being so honest, I slept for at least six hours of it. I was so exhausted. But I'm home now, so I get to gush about this concert. I didn't think it could get better. Like, I saw the show in Melbourne, and it was the greatest experience ever. And then I flew to Sydney, and somehow it was even better. I don't, I don't understand how she does it. So I went on night three. How does this woman just perform night after night after night? Like, it's not an easy task. Like, I just... It's beyond me. So I flew up to Sydney, first plane ride by myself. Kind of scary. Going through airport security was not fun, but, you know... Gotta do it. Gotta do it for Tay-Tay. Then I got on the plane. It was all good. We we got up to Sydney, went to the hotel, got ready. I loved my outfit. I, I just felt so cute. Then we headed to the concert venue. Now, we were in row G, which was the same row that I had at Melbourne, but this time we were on the Diamond, and because we were on the Diamond, for whatever reason, our seats happened to just be three rows away from the front. I was so close that I didn't need my glasses to see her, and I'm like, pretty blind. So that's saying something. Saw Sabrina Carpenter, lost my mind. Love that woman. She's also just announced that she's going to be coming to Australia at some point. So there goes all of my savings. We also got to the venue literally like 10 minutes before Sabrina got on stage and we only just made it in time to see her. So grateful that I was able to see her full performance again. Love you, Sabrina. So that was incredible. She was just, she was like right there. I like smiled and waved at her. She looked at me. She looked at me. She knows I exist. I was like smiling and screaming. And she just ah! anyways. And then Taylor Swift comes on stage, and she's also right there. Like I, I can't even explain how close it was. Like it was so ridiculously close. I felt like I could touch her. Like it was from like where I'm sitting in my bed to like my wardrobe. That's how far away she was, which is not that far at all. And I almost passed out about twenty times because. Oh my gosh. And she spent so much time in the diamond, so she was, like, always there, and I just couldn't believe how close I was. I thought I was close in Melbourne. I was even closer in Sydney. Comes on, she does her set. If you want to, like, see what the concert's like, watch the Eras Tour movie. Just such an incredible performer. I'm never, ever, ever getting over it. But then the surprise songs come on, and I was screaming. I, I'm, should, get, I should get Steph to send me the video. So... On the guitar acoustic she plays, Is It Over Now, mashed with I Wish You Would. I almost exploded. She played it because Is It Over Now is like currently number one in Australia, so that's really cool. And then on the piano, oh my god, I'm never, ever, 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 ever getting over this. She plays Haunted. Haunted. Mashed with Exile. I, I actually legitimately almost passed out because the entire day I had been saying, oh, I really hope she plays Exile. Imagine if she plays Exile. Like, heard when I was in Sydney, like, imagine if she plays Exile. Like, I think she's going to play Exile. I can feel it in my bones. Like, Exile? Mm, yeah. I would not shut up about her playing Exile. I wanted her to play Exile so badly. In fact, it was my number one pick for a surprise song. So... When she's playing Haunted, I'm like, you know what? It's fine. I love Haunted. Haunted was actually on my list. I think it was like number six, six, seven. Might have been number seven on my like surprise song list because I actually love Haunted. But then she starts going into a different song and I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh my God, it's Exile. What is she doing? Because she hadn't done, I don't think she had done a mashup on the piano yet. Like she's done a couple of mashups on guitar, but she hasn't done a mashup on the piano yet. And she does Exile. She... She plays Exile while well, I'm there. I was there. So that was actually like insane. Never, ever, 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 ever getting over that. I'm going to need like at least a year to recover. So that made my entire year. And then it was over before I knew it. For a three hour concert, it sure goes by really, really fast. Like, so we got back to the hotel we were, like, watching the videos back in the car. We slept. We got up the next morning and we drove home to Melbourne, which took eight hours. I'm just so incredibly grateful. Like, I got to go twice. And she played my favourite song ever. And oh, thank you, Taylor Swift. Now it's all over.
and I don't know what to do with myself. I have been thinking about this concert for like eight months. Hmm. Also, I hate to say it, being like a Melbourne concert girly, I absolutely hate saying this, but the crowd at Sydney was just so much more alive. And I don't know how because Melbourne was incredible, but like the environment at Sydney just felt so much more alive. I don't know, maybe it's because of the section I was in at Melbourne, like I was in with all like the news reporters, but Sydney just felt like, ugh, it, it was different energy and I, I just loved it. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog as much as I enjoyed vlogging it. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you all in the next video.